you are a real estate investor or you want to be a real estate investor and you want money to fund your deals regardless of your credit, regardless of your experience and regardless of your income, don't go anywhere because I'm getting ready to plug you into the money right now. Welcome to the Jay Connor Show. I'm Jay Connor, the Private Money Authority, broadcasting to you from here in Eastern North Carolina. And we're so excited to have you tune in. I've also got co-hosting this episode with me, my dear friend, Chaffee Wins. So hello, Chaffee, how's it going? Oh, Jay, good to see you. Awesome. Good to see you too, man. It's been a few weeks since we were uh, hanging out together at the real estate investing event. How are things up in Chicago? Things are hot. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, they're hot here in Eastern North Carolina too. But anyway, uh, anyway, folks, as I said uh, just a second ago, in just a moment, I'm going to uh, plug you in on how to get funding for your deals, uh, regardless of your credit experience or your income. And so what happens here on the Jay Connor Show? Well, this is where we talk about what uh, you want to talk about. We uh, often have topics and questions sent in ahead of time in the comment section. Um, and so we answer questions on real estate investing. Uh, we do a lot of uh, information on single family houses. I also do commercial deal as well. I own a shopping center uh, and other uh, commercial you know, investment properties here in Eastern North Carolina. We also, which I think you'll find very interesting on the platform of uh, the topic of real estate investing, Chaffee is uh, also very, very, uh, I mean, for years, uh, is and has been a business coach and a personal development coach, one-on-one -on -one and in groups. And so we not only talk about real estate investing, but we also talk about the mindset, personal development, how it, you know, I've got a good friend of mine, Chaffee, and I think you've heard me say this, and that is, you know, you can know and you can learn all there is to know about real estate investing. But until you manage and have under control the real estate that is between your ears, then how in the world are you going to be able to implement, you know, the information that you know? So, um, again, I'm just so excited. Uh, we'll be talking about personal development topics, uh, or we do talk about that here on the show, real estate investing as well. So before I plug you into the money, as I just promised a moment ago, let me give you some uh, quick uh, instructions. I got three things that, um, that I'd like for everybody to do. Number one is so you don't miss out on any of the episodes of the Jay Connor Show. Uh, subscribe. So go right below and uh, hit the subscribe button and we'll notify you of the future episodes. Secondly, um, if, um, if you'd like to, um, or, if, or rather, if you would like to keep me motivated <laughs> on giving this content out and having Chaffee here on the show with me, uh, please rate, uh, rate the show. And then finally, uh, if you are watching here on uh, com uh, watching here on YouTube, then I'd like for you to comment below. I love to hear, and we love to hear where everybody is tuning in from all around the world. So I don't want any last names, but if you would just go to the comment bar below and say, hello, this is, and give us your first name and uh, your city and state. Uh, again, if you're watching this here on YouTube, uh, comment below and just say, hello, this is, you know, Scott from Las Vegas. And now if you are tuning in and you are watching uh, or listening rather from iTunes, uh, we'd love to hear uh, your comment about the show. And so if you would uh, come in on the show and, and, and give us a review on the show here on iTunes, then that would be fantastic. So Chaffee, I'm That's not going to make them, I'm not going to make them wait anymore. All right. All right. All right. I promised you folks, I'm going to plug you into the money, regardless of your credit, your income, or your experience in real estate investing. So here it is. I've got a free on-demand uh, online class right now waiting for, uh, for you to learn the five secret steps on how to get the money. All right. It's got, and we're not talking about banks. All right. It's got nothing to do with banks, nothing to do with institutions, nothing to do with mortgage companies. And it's not hard money lenders either, in case you are a real estate investor that's already been investing. So 
Here is the website right now. Then you can go to this website, you know, right after the show, whenever you want. It's waiting on you. It's www.jconnor, and I'm an ER, as you know, J A Y C O N N E R.com forward slash money podcast. That's jconnor.com forward slash money podcast. So, um, Chaffee, I tell you what, my lands. I guess I'll go first, and then I want to get you introduced while you're qualified to be here on the show with me, and then we'll go ahead and dig right in and talk about some private money. How about that? Awesome. Perfect. So, folks, just, you know, in case you are new to tuning in to the Jay Connor Show, uh, just real quick, a little bit about myself. My wife, Carol Joy, and I, we reside here in uh, eastern North Carolina, actually Moorhead City, North Carolina, and we've been buying and selling single-family houses for 15 years now, rehabbed right now almost 400 single family houses. And we do these deals without any of our own money and without any about relying on money from the banks. We don't do a lot of transactions. We do two to three transactions per month. But as of right now, the average profits are $67,000 per deal. So what's the point of that story, Chaffee? Uh, we don't have to be in a big market and our listeners and subscribers don't have to be in a big market to make big money. And so, uh, as I said, I've been doing it 15 years, but if we'll fast forward to just nine years ago, I remember exactly where I was right here in my office, in this office right here, nine years ago, I've been funding my deals uh, up until that time using banks using local money uh, from the banks. And I called up my banker whose name was Steve. Well, there's the operative word was Steve called up Steve. I had two deals under contract and over a hundred thousand dollars, Chaffee in profit and uh, you know, income from these two deals. And I told Steve, I mean, I had this conversation many times and I told Steve that, um, you know, about these two deals and when to fund them and, you know, 30 days, et cetera. Steve goes silent on the other end of the phone, which is never a good sign, right? He goes silent and he says, Jay, I'm sorry, but the bank has collapsed your line of credit. I said, what? I never heard of a line of credit being collapsed, but I knew it didn't sound good. And so I said, what do you mean? I had an 800 credit score, never laid on a payment, you know, had a beautiful relationship with the bank for six years. I've been cut off. Many of you watching or listening will recall what happened in 2008, 2009. And so it's like the spigot was turned off, you know, and for funding. And so my definition of coincidence is God's way of staying anonymous. In less than two weeks, I was introduced to that wonderful world of private money that we're going to talk about in just a moment. And since that time, nine years ago, I've never missed out on a deal because I did not have the funding. So actually, it was a blessing in disguise. But anyway, uh, that's a little bit of my, you know, my background. Um, and so, uh, Chaffee, I tell you what, man, I don't know who knows you better than yourself. I'm going to let you give people your background, but I want everybody to know how we actually know each other. Chaffee and I, we've known each other for, well, it's been over nine years now, over nine and a half years. In fact, we met at a real estate investing uh, conference. And, uh, you know, some people just hit it off. I mean, uh, Chaffee and I, we, we hit it off, um, you know, the same kind of mindset, outlook on, on life and business and et cetera. And so, you know, we're both real estate investors. And uh, I guess it's been, I don't know, it's been a number of years now. Chaffee, actually, he and I work together at real estate live events, training, motivating and teaching other real estate investors, either newbies or seasoned real estate investors how to find the deals, how to fund the deals, how to fund, uh, how to sell the deals or flip them and, you know, how to automate the entire process. So, um, Chaffee, um, man, I need to take a break. Tell the, tell the, tell the folks, uh, why you're qualified to be here on the Jay Connor show and your background. Well, like, well, like a lot of people, I started, uh, way, you know, way back in the day I was born. Um, <laughs> <laughs> And no, I, I went to school and I got good grades and I uh, graduated and like most people, I got a job. And what I realized was that the job wasn't uh, what I really wanted to do with my life. And so that led me to eventually investing in real estate. 
um, and starting my first business and in investing in real estate back in 2002. Um, so I was in the corporate world for over 11 years, uh, engineering and IT. So if there's any engineers and ITs out there, I know exactly what you're thinking and going through. Um, and again, while the job was good, it was paying well. Um, it was a secure, quote unquote, job. Uh, it, it wasn't really what I was passionate about. And so I got involved in investing in real estate uh, and I loved it. And it enabled me to eventually find out what my true passion is, which is coaching and helping people. So I started investing back uh, in 2002. I've invested in multiple different states. I've done pretty much every strategy out there that you can uh, list. And uh, I love real estate investing and I'm passionate about coaching. And so that's, you know, when we met, like you said, I was still investing in real estate full time. Uh, and we met at a real estate conference and uh, we just uh, that connection uh, just hit it off and we didn't start working together right away. We just kept in touch. Right. That's and right. Through those years, we kept in touch and just continued to build that relationship to eventually what's led to now, which is uh, I've, I've been blessed and enjoy and, and thankful for working with you and, and Carol Joy and the whole team over there. So it's been a wonderful experience. Yeah, it's it's definitely mutual, Chaffee. Um, I tell you, um, what I'd like to do, Chaffee, is, you know, just so our viewers and listeners know, uh, you are at, you know, every one of my live events where we're, where we're training real estate investors. And, you know, we offer live, you know, that the live events we offer, you know, one on one free strategy sessions, uh, taking helping people discover what their challenges and fears are and, and how to get to the next level, get rid of the stumbling blocks, et cetera. And so I want to offer everyone a free gift here along with the online class chaffee and we'll just, and we'll dive right into uh, the, the material that we have on private money. So folks, when you go to jconnor.com forward slash money podcast um, on that online training, at the end of the training, you will learn how you can get, uh, over the telephone, how you can get a free business strategy session to where uh, you'll be on the phone with us and uh, we'll help you discover or we'll discover where you are in your business and we'll do the strategy session with you, uh, you know, right over the phone. So that's another bonus that they can look forward to at the end of the uh, online class. So one of the reasons, folks, that I invited Chaffee to come on here uh, for this episode is because Chaffee um, gets to meet and um, and network with and really gets to know the attendees that come to the live events. And Chaffee, you have heard, I'm sure, over the years, some very common questions. Absolutely. Uh, that real estate investors, you know, ask. And so I thought we could just sort of, you know, play off each other here on, on uh, the show and, uh, you know, you could ask me on this show, you know, one, two or three questions ever, ever how long, um, you know, the, the time takes. And you ask the questions and I'll answer from the hip based on my years of experience in this world of real estate investing. Hey, Jay, just again, though, uh, there's some confusion sometimes about what private money is compared to hard money or other types of funding and, and everything. Can you just go into uh, quickly, what is private money? What's your definition of private money? Sure. So private money, and and so it's very simple, folks, very simple. Private money or a private lender is an individual, just like you, just like Chaffee, just like me, just like, you know, everybody that's listening or watching here on the show. It's individual. It's doing business with an individual that loans their money from either their investment capital or from their retirement account. So now what that, well, I'll keep it simple for right now. So they're either loaning money from their investment capital or from their retirement funds. Now there is a way if someone's invested in stocks, there is a way to leverage that asset. If somebody wants to keep their stocks, uh, that's for a future show, a little more advanced, but anyway, keep it simple. It's an individual doing business, loaning their money from investment capital or their retirement uh, funds. So, so why would somebody want to do that to you, or why would somebody want to loan you know money that they have somewhere to you? Sure, sure. Well, here's some big reasons. <laughs> Number one, the private lender 
is going to earn a whole lot more money than they can through any other traditional, you know, ways of getting a return on investment. Okay. So, you know, as of the airing of this show, the average 12 month certificate of deposit at the local bank is paying less than a half percent, less than a half percent. So in the world of private money, and I'm a private lender myself, okay, uh, using my retirement funds to loan out to real estate investors. And so number one, they're going to earn a whole lot more money. Well, how, well as, of, as of this show, average return of, to private lenders in the nation right now, is, and this is just in the U.S., I mean, private money happens all over the world, is 8%. Well, that's 16 times more money than people can get, you know, at the local bank. I mean, if you put your money on a certificate of deposit, you know, you've already lost money, you know, with yeah. inflation and taxes and et cetera. So the more they're going to earn a whole lot more money. Number two reason the private lenders absolutely love this world of private money is the investment or the loan they make is safe and secure. And here's what I mean by that. It is safe because it is a low loan to value ratio loan. So the private lender is well protected. We typically, uh, you know, don't do deals to where money's loaned out more than 75% of the uh, after repaired value of a property. So there's this big cushion. So it's safe. It's secure because in my world of private money, as a private lender, I don't loan out any unsecured funds. So, you know, Private money is a collateral loan, all right? It's a collateral loan. And so the private lender gets a mortgage in North Carolina. It's a deed of trust to protect their investment or their loan, all right? And then thirdly, their investment or loan amount is not volatile, okay? So the principal does not go up and down, the principal loan amount. The principal amount stays the same. So the private lender knows exactly what their rate of return is going to be, and that it's reliable. And, you know, if you invest in the stock market, you've already lost money with fees and commissions and the principal amount, you know, you know, changes over time. But in the world of private money, it stays the same. So those are, those are the big reasons. So if somebody's got, you know, 25 grand or 50,000 or more in a savings account or in a CD somewhere, then they, they would be a potential candidate for a private lender for you then. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, you use the smaller amounts of money for if a property is going to be rehabbed and, you know, it's, um, uh, you know, use the larger amounts, you know, for purchases as well. Awesome. And, and so what's the benefit of using private money over say bank financing or hard money or one of those other kind of, uh, you know, money sources that you might have access to. <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, that's a big question with a few answers. So uh, this is probably gonna be the last question we got time for on this episode of private money. So here we go, folks, put your seatbelt on. Number one, in the world of private money, as opposed to banks, you make the rules. You make the rules. You set the interest rate. Okay. Uh, you set the term, you set the frequency of payments. Now there's two, I know we don't have time to did really dive deep right now. We'll do it in a future episode, maybe the next one. I don't know, but there's, there's, there's three primary categories of finding private money. One is your warm market, people, you know, people you have some kind of influence with, that's the market you set the rules at. Another uh, market of private money is existing private lenders. All right. Um, so those are people that are individuals, you know, just like us that are already loaning money out to other real estate investors. And then the third group is what I call the warm market, your warm market that doesn't know you yet. All right. That's where you can go and network at places to where the money is there and they, they will become, and they will come into your warm market. So here's the big reasons. A lot of real estate investors that we have listening and viewing may have borrowed hard money. All right. So let me define what hard money is versus private money. And then I'll go over some really, really uh, strong distinctions. Hard money is a broker. In most cases, hard money is a middle person. All right. And so that broker of money actually 
goes and finds individuals, just like I teach how to do, goes and finds individuals, attracts the money, marks the money up, and then pockets the spread and then loans it out to us real estate investors. All right. So what I teach is how to circumvent the middle person and go straight to the source. So here are some distinctions. Number one, in the world of hard money, right now, as of this show, the average interest rate is 14%. 14%. And I haven't even gotten to the other fees yet. All right. The world of private money, as I said, national average right now is between 7 and 8%, right at half of hard money. Another big distinction is points or fees. Hard money lenders always are charging points or fees or origination fees. All right. Right now, the average points are four points. In other words, if you borrow $100,000, then 4%, 4% of that, you know, $4,000. Uh, so now we're up to 18%. In the world of private money, zero points, never any points, no origination fees. And then thirdly, hard money lenders have what's called extension fees. So if most of the terms are six months to one year in the world of hard money. In the world of private money, it's two to five years. And by the way, it works on single family houses and commercial deals as well. And so there are no extension fees. And in the world of hard money, you're typically looking at about two to four percent per year to extend. So you're at least up to 20 percent in the first year using hard money. 20 percent on my lands. You borrow one hundred thousand dollars. You're going to pay twenty thousand dollars on uh, to hard money. All right. In the world of private money, you're still between that seven and eight percent. So there's the interest rates. Uh, I mentioned a moment ago, credit. Your credit's got nothing to do in this world of private money, folks. Nothing at all. Your verification of income has got nothing to do with it because it's a collateral loan. All right. So and another another big difference, and we can talk more about this in another episode, but another big difference is that in the world of private money, you never bring money to the closing table when you buy. I mean, you know, when you're borrowing hard money, their typical advance is like 80% of purchase. Well, who's got to come up with the other 20% regardless of how good the deal is? You know, we do, the real estate investor. But in this world of private money, you bring no table. In fact, you get a check. That's one of my favorite reasons for using private money. You get a check when you buy. You get another check when you sell. So, <laughs> you know, that that's not the world of banks and mortgage companies and, you know, hard money lenders. But again, folks, if you really, you know, want to really get the details on this, you know, take advantage of the free online class at jconnor.com forward slash money podcast. I tell you, Chaffee, due to time, you know, I'm always on the podcast. I like to uh, dive deep a little bit in the world of, you know, personal growth, personal development. And both you and I love that. So let me. Um, let hey, me just Jay, real quick before you move on. I just uh, sure. I think uh, in a future episode, you're you're going to talk about how to get multiple different checks. Oh, yes. Money, right? Okay. Absolutely. So you mentioned two of them already when you buy and then when you sell. And there's even more ways, correct? Absolutely. We'll do it. Uh, who knows? We might do that next. We'll see. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I'm going to hit you from the hip, Chavi. Here it comes. Okay. We're, getting to, we're getting ready to wind down this episode, all right? So from the hip, Chaffee, <laughs> what gets you going in the morning? You know, it, it, and a lot of people um, may have heard this concept before. And for me personally, um, it, you know, it, it's the reason why, right? And we talk about the reason why uh, some people, you know, how to find your why. And really, what are you passionate about? What drives you? And the difference is, is that when I used to work in the corporate world and I would wake up in the morning, it would be a struggle. It would be a hit, hit the snooze button, hit the, you know, uh, go back to sleep because you didn't want to wake up and face the day because you knew you had to work and you had to deal with certain things and everything like that. And it wasn't exciting, it wasn't uh, interesting, and I wasn't passionate about it. And when you find your why, when you find that reason that motivates you and you're, what you're passionate about, you, you you want to wake up in the morning. You, as a matter of fact, you don't want to go to sleep. You, know, you find out that you end up sleeping less because it drives you and it motivates you. And so when you really find out what that reason why is, what that reason drives you. And, and, and I understand that family is a big, 
reason why for a lot of people it's it's important for me i'm a i'm a father first i'm a husband and a father first before anything else and so that drives me in it's got to be something greater than that as well and for me the passion is really coaching it's really helping people grow it's helping people see the 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 light turn on in their head the aha moment and when i can work on my business and i can help people achieve greater things and and uh, achieve higher levels of success that's that what that's what really drives me and allows me to wake up in the morning knowing that I'm impacting other people and other people's lives and uh, help putting a good influence out there for people. So find out what that reason is for you, that reason why, that reason that motivates you and drives you and what you're passionate about. And that's going to wake you up early in the morning and keep you up late at night. You know, Chaffee, as you were describing that or, or explaining that, um, the question that was coming to my mind was, well, what if somebody doesn't know how to figure out what their why is or what it is that motivates them? And, you know, that's one thing that we also cover in our free uh, strategy sessions that people, uh, that will, people will find out about at the end of the online class that we've talked about. So there is another benefit, folks. I mean, you know, if you just don't know, I mean, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people go through life letting the tide take them wherever the tide and whatever the you know, the fat is of the day or whatever. And so if you want some help, you know, really focusing in on your purpose and what it is that, you know, I mean, I tell you, Chavi, I don't know anything more exciting to live life, to be doing and serving others what you're passionate about and being compensated for it, you know? And Absolutely. so, I mean, I know you agree with that. Absolutely. Yeah. One, one of my favorite quotes actually is uh, by a gentleman named Zig Ziglar. I think you might have heard of him. Oh, and it he, is, uh, he was my hero when I was 24 years old. <laughs> right. and, and his quote is, help, help enough people uh, get what they want and you'll get what you want. So, exactly. and, and I'm a true believer of that. So that's, that's what drives me. That's what I'm passionate about is helping enough people, you know, get what they want, achieve their successes. And I know that that's, you know, comes back to me tenfold or more. Every time, every time. Chavi, thank you so much for uh, joining me here on this episode and being here on the show. Man, I love you, brother. I really appreciate you. <laughs> I love you too, Jay. <laughs> All right, Always folks. a pleasure. All right. Well, look, folks, uh, and uh, thank everybody here for tuning in, for uh, watching and viewing or, uh, or listening in. And again, uh, subscribe, uh, rate, and comment. Love to have you back on, uh, on our following shows. And until we see you on the next Jay Connor show, here's to taking your business to the next level. Bye for now.